In this video, we'll get started with the new Excel filter function, which is available in Office 365. You can enter a formula in one cell and the results just spill down onto the worksheet and the list will update automatically if you change the criteria. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this workbook, we have a food sales list that shows region, city, and several other fields. In our first filter function, we'll get us a list of the cities after we select one of the regions. I'm going to this sheet and I've got a drop down list here where I can select one of the five regions. And in this formula, I'm going to create a filter formula. I'll start with equals filter. Now you should see filter and if not, your version of Excel doesn't have these functions yet. Once I see that, I can press tab and I'm ready to fill in the arguments. First argument is the array, which is where we want the information to come from. So I'm going to my food sales list and I would like the cities. So I'll click that and it puts the name of this table and the name of this field. And I'll type a comma and go to the next argument, which is include. And this is the filtering that we want this to do. We want it to only show the cities where the region matches our criteria cell. So I'll click on the region column equals, and then I'll go back to my sheet here. And I want this cell where I'm selecting a region. Now I don't need the sheet name here, so I'm just going to delete that. And I'll type a comma, and the last argument is if empty. So if it can't find any values that match our criteria, what should this cell show? And I'm going to use double quote, and then two dashes, double quote. Close that bracket and press enter. So now it's given a list of all the cities. Every row here that was in that region is showing up. We just want a list of the city names. We don't want each one repeated several times. So we're going to use another one of the new Excel functions, which is unique. I'll put a bracket at the end. And now when I press enter, there's our list of cities, but each one is only in that list once. I'd like them in alphabetical order. So I'm going to use one more of the new functions, which is sort. Bracket at the end. And there's our list in alphabetical order. This cell is where we put the formula and we can see that up in the formula bar. And then there's this thin blue border around the other cells in the list. This is the spill area. If I click on one of these other cells, I can see the formula up in the formula bar, but I can't edit it. If I click up there, it just disappears. 